Yo, what's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can do this insane sort of glitch effect And if you haven't noticed already, we're back with the recurring theme of recording a video straight after a shower So don't bully me for that Now really quickly, just before we get into the video guys Please can you do me a quick favour by just dropping a like and subscribing to the channel with post notifications on It really would mean the world to me and it only takes a few seconds out of your day And I have spent a lot of time making this effect and then showing you guys how to use it So if you could just do that, that would mean the world to me also guys if you do want to learn how to edit and just become an insane editor if you want to do over editing clean editing like anything like that i highly recommend you go ahead and check my editing pack out link in description it's got absolutely everything that you need to become an insane editor trust me you will not regret getting it it will make you a better editor by so much but that being said let's get straight into the video all right guys sorry that i'm a bit quiet as you can see it's kind of 2 a.m but i need to record this video so i got you guys Basically, the first thing you want to go ahead and do, as always, is add a marker and put this on the main beat drop bar around that section. Then you want to sync up your clip. So just before the damage comes up, you want to put the clip there on the beat so it's synced up. Now we're just going to quickly add velocity. So right click on the clip, insert remove envelope velocity. Then you want to double click on the marker here and drag this onto the marker. Make sure it's perfectly on. Then set this to 300%. Then using your arrow keys, all these buttons down here, you just want to go ahead and go six frames to the left so backwards so go one two three four five six frames to the left then you want to put a point around here put this to normal velocity go back to the start here and then go one frame to the right and then put this about three quarters in between this point and the one frame to 50 percent so as you can see around three quarters in you want to put this to 50 percent now from here we're going to go one frame to the left from the main beat drop uh split the clip this is where we're going to add the effect after the kill which doesn't really matter too much we're mainly focusing on the pre-kill effect then on this sort of section here you want to double click hit minus 30 and then press enter and that's going to move us 30 frames back which is a perfect time interval to add our build up effect all right guys so the first effect that we're going to be using on the pre-effect which should be 30 frames for the kill is going to be bcc turbulence now i actually haven't seen a lot of people using this at all it's a really underrated effect and it's super super good for making these sort of glitch kind of pre-effects or even after kill effects so yeah it's really really helpful for that now what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and drag and drop the default version on and just copy all of my settings here there is quite a lot of stuff that you do want to copy so just make sure you get everything down i don't know why my vegas just glitch like that but um you just want to go ahead and copy all of these settings some of them will be default there will be a few that aren't default though so just pause the video where you feel is needed to copy these settings down again you don't have to get them exact Anywhere around here is good because it's going to be a rough image. But as you can see what turbulence does is it kind of alters the actual image. It's going to move pixels across on the screen and it looks really, really good for a sort of glitch effect. So we're going to be keyframing multiple amount of things here. The first thing that we're going to be keyframing is going to be the scale. Put that down to zero or 0 0.01. Some of these you can't actually make zero, but just put zero and that'll come up. Then you want to go to the end of the clip or end of the pre uh, effect. Go minus 12 on the frame mover. And this is where we're going to start all of these keyframes. So put this at zero here. Then the intensity, put this at zero. And move the intensity keyframe over here. And we're just going to do this for a few things here. Reference level, put this at zero here as well. Yeah, I know it's on 500. Let me change this quick. Put this at zero. Then the last thing is going to be the actual turbulence itself. Put this down to zero or one. And move that across here. Then you want to go to the end of the clip. You want to move this up to 10. Then you want to go ahead and move the reference level up to 100. Then you want to move this up to 500, the intensity. And then you finally want to put the scale up at 100. So once you've gone ahead and done this, as you can see, you're going to get that nice glitch build up over time, which I think looks super, super nice. All right, guys, so the next effect we're going to be applying to actually complement this really, really nicely is going to be distort RGB. Now, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and drag and drop the default version on. Copy my settings right here. Um, as you can see, you can go ahead and copy all of these down. Now, we're going to put the amount to zero. We're going to hit keyframe. And then we want to go like a little bit behind where the turbulence starts. So I'd say three to two to three frames back. So just use your arrow keys or these buttons here. Then put the zero there. Go in at the end and then put this up to about 0.1. And that's just going to kind of add some RGB essence around the move particles and it will just make it look a lot nicer. Next thing we're going to go ahead and add is just your regular hue sap bright. 
Now, there's two ways you can go around this. If you want to keep it kind of simple and just not overdo it, what you want to do is just originally keyframe the saturation, go to the end, put this down to about 0.4, and then with the brightness, do the same, go to the end here, put this to about 0.7. So you don't want it to go too dark because then the frame sort of stuff won't be noticeable. But that's good. Or if you want to, you know, have a different approach to it, what you can do instead is just put these back to default quick. And you can kind of add like a color change as it goes on. And because there's like a really nice glitch around the edges, it's going to affect that and make it look super nice. So you just want to make the heat shift one at the end. And as you can see, as it goes on, like you're going to get this glitch build up and the colors are going to change during the pre-effect, which I think can look really really nice in some areas but you don't want to overdo it so personally for me in this scenario right here i'm just going to go and keep a very nice and simple just color drop so just keyframe put this down to 0.7 well actually 0.4 my bad and then keyframe this and put this to 0.7 and this is basically just going to fade out some of the color and it's going to help build up to the after cut effect just like that so the next thing you want to go ahead and add is just going to be a bit of flicker now the reason I suggest this is because you can make an insane pre-kill effect which you may have seen me use before, I'm not sure if the montage I've used it in is out yet. But you just want to apply the dark flicker that I have right here, go ahead and copy all of these settings. Then if you complement this with the wacky sound effect, it is just insane, it looks so so good. So just on the pre-effect section, split the audio, go to effects, go to the amplitude modulation. By the way, all of this is kind of not necessary, you don't have to do it but it definitely helps a lot. So as you can see, it will start to flicker and boom, there's your effect. It looks super, super good. And with the audio, it matches perfectly. Now after the after kill effect, it really doesn't matter. This video is mainly about the glitch effect, but some stuff that goes really well with it from my personal presets. If you have my editing pack, which if you don't, what are you doing? You can get all of these God CCs and even more. You need to get that if you want to become a God editor. But I do have one free one that would work quite nicely, which with this is actually just the pink impact. So as you can see, this will complement it quite nicely. As you can see, there's not much color. And then as soon as the kill happens, it's going to be a nice amount of color coming in. But if you do have my editing pack, there's going to be a lot better presets and after kill effects that you can use. If you want the link to this free preset, I'm going to link the video in description to get access and use that. So that is there if you would like it. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the whole video there. I really hope you did enjoy and that this video did help you in some way. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on because it only takes a few seconds out of your day and really does mean the absolute world to me. So thank you guys so much for the recent support. Please keep it up because it really does help motivate me to putting out more content just like this. Anyways guys, that's going to be the end of the video. One final thing, make sure to go ahead and get that editing pack. It's been reduced only down to £10. Super good value for money, everything you need. And trust me, you will not regret it. That's all and I'll see you in the next one boys. Peace.